he has against Marth. It's kind of interesting, right? A player from this sort of region that we never really see play often, Chile. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't know what kind of Marths they have. They might not have any good Marths there, you know what I mean? Or they might have a really sick Marth, and he might be amazing at the matchup. Yeah, whenever I see a, a player uh, like Lassie make such strides in tournament, it makes me feel like they must have pretty good practice partners right. in their region. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's super hard. No matter how good you naturally are at the game, no matter how much you grind, yeah. if you're not playing against good players, then it's so difficult to yeah. improve. And especially in, in 2019, I feel like with with the with, with net play and whatnot, it's a little bit easier right. for everyone to improve, even in, in regions that might not have as many players as some of the more prominent regions. Right. Oof, Makoderin looking solid to start right now. Yeah. Blasi definitely not looking like he has that Marth experience. Oh, man. And a brutal first couple stocks there. Oh, Koderin. Looking yeah, like no, Koderin's Koderin definitely running away with this, man. I, I think having the matchup experience, like, just the way that Koderin's also just mixing up the way he's comboing. Look at that. He was yeah. about to dunk him. Yeah, he's, he's definitely feeling himself a little bit, too. You can maybe uh, maybe keep some of that momentum he gained in the H-Box set earlier. He was starting to style a bit at the end of that set as well. Koderin looking like he's hitting, hitting his momentum at the right time here. Ooh, nice little quick up B there as he sees Blassi coming in for the Shine Spike. His combo game has been impeccable. Oh, yeah, the punishes looking solid the entire time. Ooh. What a shine, though. Really nice. Yeah. Well timed. Mm -hmm. Cuts off that neutral air, but still a lot of work to do. Get a tipper there, another chance for Blassi. Okay. Just goes right for the up smash. Ooh. Oh. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna be it, probably. Oh no, oh, not, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, messes up his edge guard a little bit. Probably wanted the edge hog. Oh, oh, but the oh, wait crouch a cancel. This isn't over yet. Pushes him to last stock. Blassie still got a chance. Oh, but he misses the L cancel there. Oh wow, he can really get that. Yeah. That dunk at that percent. Yeah. Really good recognition from Koderin. It's not even remotely fair. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, he, he had an opening, he got the drill, but didn't get the L cancel, couldn't get the shine after. Right. And uh, that's all she wrote for game one. Nicely done from Koderin. Yeah. Oh, and wave dashes in, straight to the tipper. Got him off stage as well, another forward smash. Another one, and another one for good measure. <laughs> yeah. Just five straight forward smashes and you're dead. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. The, the crouch cancel there. There's really not much Koderin can do as long as he has, like, a uh, really good dash out of those crouches, right? Yeah. Like, he was going to be able to get the, the grab or even an up smash if he went to the left or right. Yeah, it covers pretty much every option there if you, yeah. if you can do it quickly enough. Nice okay. slide off. Blasty like really goal. coming alive right now in this game, too. But... Oof. That's what happens when you're playing against Marth, though. Yep. He can stifle that momentum in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's what you saw right there with the questionable DI on the forward smash. Definitely didn't see it coming. Ooh. Ooh, goes for another down smash. Not quite. Tries Great. to do a sweet spot from Koderin. Tries to do another crouch cancel shine as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, not quite, yeah. Barely not making that forward smash. Yeah, and that would have been it, too, so that's a big deal for Blassi, especially on his counter pick right now, trying to get on the board. Yeah. Okay. Okay, getting the tech chase. He's opting to do forward throws there because of all the platform mix-ups that you can get on this transformation. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. And that should be stock. Yep. There it is. Lassie trying to get on the board on the counter pick. And not, I feel like Blassie's just not getting uh, juicy enough punches. As I say that, though, I mean, he's getting a decent one here. Yeah. But he's been mostly getting straight hits so far. A couple hits at most. Yeah. And then, obviously, every time Koderin touches him, it hurts. It feels like the, the way that he's, like, it, it feels a little telegraphed a little bit when he's going to go in, right? Like, he shoots a couple lasers, yeah. and then he immediately goes for, like, drill or nair. Yeah. And Koderin is kind of caught on to that tempo. Yeah, yeah. And he just kind of, like, dashes in and out of it. 
gets a grab or even like a like a forward air or up tilt. Oh, and he misses the up throw up air. That's gonna be huge. Oh. That's gonna be game. Yo, Kodoran's combo game. Yeah. Especially off a counter attack like that. Yeah. Nicely done. 2-0 to Kodoran's favor. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it to top four here at Genesis Black at Player Omega. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, much better start so far for Blassi. For sure. Oh, nice. Using the down tilt there as soon as he sees that the the range that Coderin wants to keep is outside the neutral air. Down tilt is perfect as a response to that. Yeah. Okay. Another big combo. Oh. Oh. oh wow. I, I that would have been crazy. Yeah. I really like the thought I process. I like the idea. Though. Yeah. Just a little bit too quick on the reactions from Blassi, but good idea. Okay. Ooh. That second forward air was really, really important. He was about to get knocked back off stage. Yeah, it was, looked like Blassi was trying to set up another shine. Gets that forward smash. Yep, yep. Three stocks apiece. Blassi trying to keep hope alive for Chile. Oh, Ooh. man, the raw side B. Yeah. Looked like, kind of looked like that was on purpose, for sure. I too. think so, too, because there's a lot of times where it's going to trick up your opponent, and then they get popped up to where you can potentially combo them. Right. Or it knocks them down, you get a tech chase situation. Mm -hmm. Oh. Where'd that wall jump come from? <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, oh wow. He, he was trying to go for the grab himself, but it's Marth, so. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Blasi kind of wants to pop off right now in this yeah, little. Yeah, trying, trying to make the pit work for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put her in, taking his time. Yeah. Blasi also has to just take a breather for just a hot second. Yeah. I mean, he already had, like, a good situation here with how that transformation went. For sure. No reason to push your luck. Oh, nice. Stays out oh, right okay. outside the neutral air range, but unfortunate SD there from Put her in. Yeah. Really good tech off the down tilt at that percent. Good recognition from Coderin, getting the tipper to the other side. Yeah. Oh, not able to get the up throw up air off of the angel platform. We got a chain grab situation here for Coderin. Rare drop, but he picks it back up. Not DIing to the platform, just kind of opting to allow him to continue the chain grab situation. Yeah, interestingly enough. I mean, it's not necessarily the worst option because you're going to get out after, you know, 40, 50%. Right, and then a lot of times you can get, like, up air or forward air or huge tippers on those platforms like we just see there on that right side. Coderin. Coderin got another grab. This could be bad for Blassi. A lot of damage building up. Oh, but he misses the up air, but it doesn't matter. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It he does not matter. He punished the slide off, oh, too. Kodoran punished, punished the slide off wow, yeah. amidst that combo. He was ready for it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, missing an up air in the midst of that combo, but continuing it anyway and taking it 3-0 over Blassie. Not even S2J 3-0 Blassie. Yeah. You got to give some props to That's Kodoran. true. That's Making true. a nice little run. He is in top four now here at Genesis Black. Great run. At Player Omega. At Player Omega. At Player Omega. Dang, what a what an interesting top four. Yeah, well we still got one more slot left to join. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't make the rules. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know where the hell Mango is. <laughs> um so it's now Lucky it's and up dog. Lucky and someone. Uh, oh Lucky and Panda. Yeah, yeah. Lucky and Panda. And then uh, we got S2J and Face Row waiting in winner's side. Winner's, winners finals. finals. Yep. Yeah. We got HBox joining us. What's up, dog? Yeah. So How's it going? Genghis I won't, I won't try to button too much, but uh, Mango is to commentate, but he's like locked outside or something, and no one has any idea what's going on. Mango's <laughs> locked outside? It seems away. Oh, no. It's hard, hard to get in here. Oh, no. In, to be fair. <laughs> Dang. But yeah. in, in any case, um, that uh, just now, the Face Row lucky set. Yep. Like, been close to 
Is it actually working? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, working. No, it's it's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the facial lucky slot I saw at the very end on FD, like Lucky pretty much had it. But I think what Facial took advantage of in a huge way was Lucky's hesitation to attack head on, even a high percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Facial down smash. He just did like the you know suicide call or nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 That was that was. Brutal. I mean, the punishes were perfect from face roll, but Lucky shouldn't have been in that situation. No, but with. yeah, so. especially with the the percent lead that he had, he could have just like. Hung back just a I actually bit. remember playing. I played face roll with my fox in uh, Rishi's jungle jam over it. <laughs> <laughs> at Shine. Nice. Uh, he's super freaking good at like just following up anything, he, like any tech chase he gets, right. especially on platform. So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really no, that was super impressive. Lucky now got Panda. So you're you're from the same region, right? Yeah. CFL? So Panda is actually ranked like top seven, top six in CFL. Okay. He's like one of the sickest, craziest foxes. Like people say, he's like the the rebirth of Cobalt. 